Hey everybody, Bren here, and today, you know, we're gonna go back to the infirmary. I'm feeling daring. <laughs> Alright, so today, let's do some math. Oh yeah, we gotta help out. Hey, Yuya. How you doing? You know, I think I'll neaten the desk just to ruin his life. <laughs> I'm so evil. Uh, I'm just gonna go. Hmm. Oh yeah, we got the class hike. Talk to Joe, every man. How are you? And of course, he's narcolepsy. Seriously, why is he like that? I'm actually kind of curious. But really, this is gonna be my last. You know, this is gonna be my last let's play kind of foot boyfriend. Like, cause really, I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over again, and let the only difference is his base on the ending. So really, it would just get kind of dull. I mean, because I've seen just about all the time. I'm literally fast forwarding through everything that isn't new. And we are doing going to the first day. Familiar, didn't I? Yeah, I chopped your head off. Okay. You know what? Maybe I'm getting some second thoughts. Eh, it's the path I take. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Heh <laughs> Can you hear the song of the stars above? May they send you happiness, Monomi. Yeah, that's a pretty good wish. <laughs> and of course, he needs another alarm clock. Just who will be granting my wish? And how? What should I wish for? Hmm. I wish for the mad love of a fallen angel. Oh, hey, how you doing? Eh, yeah, I don't need you. Nah, I'm good. I don't need you. Nothing happened. Oh well, guess I'm gonna die. <sighs> Finals are coming up. Yeah. yeah. That's a good question. Why is a school this famous even stingier with its air conditioning than a public school? You know, I don't know. Like, as far as I can tell, pigeons are okay with enduring, you know, you know, normal heats and colds. So, I mean, they're basically on the same level. Like, they need, they need cool. So, why are they stingy? Oh, hey, Ryota. What's up? Eh, sure. They have massacred ramen? Um, what? How do you massacre ramen? Is that like half dead fried rice? How do you make the fried rice half dead? How do you make it dead? I mean, seriously, I think the bigger question is, how do you make rice dead? How do you make fried rice dead? And now, how do you make it half dead? Well, you don't get... Um, what? Um... What? This is new. His eye... It's... Piercing into my soul. Um, 
You! Are you the one who called forth this disaster? The one who invoked the broad Taurus of the blue sky? Um, what? Uh, but you're bleeding. My chest. And you are. Yoda, I don't think I understand Japanese. Wait, I thought we were speaking English. <laughs> we have to get him to the infirmary. Oh, he isn't? Oh. But just from the other class. Wait, then why did he jump through the window? Correct! I am Higuri Angel! Angel, the fallen servant of God, stained with the blood of sin! Okay, that guy looks like a badass. Oh, really? I, I'm not gonna lie. He, this is a good picture. He looks badass. So, does he have like a bandage on the eye I can't see? Because if there's a bandage here... Hmm. That's a good question. Arg, The corruption spreads faster than I expected. I had hoped to find it before we came this far. I'm gonna name him sort of Scottish. Sleeping Servant of the Heavens! Yes? Um... Time is slipping by! The rudge... <clears throat> Judgment draws ever nearer. You must find the truth by the light of the red moon. Ah! I must last a little longer. Be silent, crimson beast. Uh, you okay? Do not touch me. Farewell, Edu Blau of the blue sky. Fate decrees that we shall meet again. What the hell? Yeah. That was odd. Oh, shut up. Yeah. Oh, you... Oh. You know what? I hope I eat your brother. Oh, oh my god, what's he doing? Is it like John Wooing in here? Is there like a bunch of students he hired? To, like fly through the window just as he jumps through with a pair of pistols because I'd love to see that actually <laughs> the red sky of the demon led me here you summoned me once more apostle <clears throat> you summoned me once more apostle of the blue sky <laughs> what I uh, his name is Angel he's basically a class in century <sighs> another peasant Go back to the Philippines and bang some coconuts together, why don't you? <sighs> losing bleeding hearts from the Philippines? That would be why they're called losing bleeding hearts. The Philippines have bananas, right? I want to call him a banana man. Incidentally, Sakuya is unhinged. Maybe they could be his friend. They should be friends. I have no business with you, hollowed magician of white. A bastard of the blue sky. Uh, yeah? Can you not remember who I am? Um... A fallen angel? Could you be a fallen angel that escaped from the demonic prison of Judicia? How do I know this? Have you woken at last, Apostle Edeblau? We have but little time left. You must decide. Will you cross swords on me with promised ground? Or... No, not now. Angel! Well, I got weird. Well, weirder than normal. Yeah. Yay! Okay. Point, I'm just like, I hear a window break and I'm just like, hey, Angel. <laughs> yeah, pure like the Christmas star descending from that. I'm sorry, what? Why would I describe it like that? Why? You know, I think it's just perfect. I start the Let's Play series on a crazy and I'm ending it on a crazy. In a blue of the blue sky, I'm about to open a gate to the other world. What will you do? A gate to the other world? You... Oh, boy. The infirmary? 
A mere disguise, Edoblau. I sense a powerful evil magic inside. No doubt the tree of light, Rafia, has taken root within. Left alone, it will swallow the entire school. We must stop it now. How, yeah, how would Dr. Iwana react to it in such a Filipino breaking down story? And yes, I know he's Filipino, and I, but I can't do a Filipino accent without making it sound racist. I mean, the, I could do, you know, sort of this funny accent, but yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry if you wanted to hear me do a Filipino accent. Um... The time has not yet come. The time has not yet come, Crimson Angel Judesia. Is that true, Edoblau? Indeed, my demonic red eye feels no murderous. <clears throat> Indeed, my demonic red eye feels no murderous aura. Perhaps it would be wise well, to wait and observe for a while. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. That doesn't take too kind of like a roughhousing. That's guy roughhouse got a cleaver in his shoulder. <laughs> Alright, let's look at to speed through this. Yellow. <sighs> hmm. I don't need a job. Invite. Let's invite Angel. Hmm. Hello? This is the right time, isn't it? It's, is my phone now? De Blau? Maybe I should go ahead by myself. Ed Blau! Ah! Where is he? Angel, is that you? I am here, Ed Blau. A wild angle appeared! <laughs> hey, Vegeta! What? It's a Pokemon. I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> uh, I love Nappa. Well, at least four kids version. Like, it was a riot. Arg, you scared me. Sure, sure. Oh. Oh, I lost. Shush. <clears throat> yeah, I lost the accent. You lower demon a ball. I can still feel its presence. It lurks nearby, Edobau! Fighting evil again? You have but just awakened. It's too soon to bring you into battle. Take this. He hands me... a charm. This will protect you from the forces of witchcraft, but we shall leave this place nonetheless. Alright, let's go to the festival. Hmm. Is this your first time coming to the Summer Festival? I was born beneath the stars of solitude. I am not allowed these pleasures. Oh, come on. You gotta have some friends. Urgh. And have as... And have... And have a scanner of chaos? Why here? Why now? Oh, uh, boy. Really? Um, that looks like a normal booth. When the chaotic wings of the Reaper appear on the surf, the echoes of the, of the end shall be heard across the land. One moment, I need to get some water. It is actually hard to do this accent. One moment. Whew, okay. <clears throat> and a blow, you must undergo training. It is easy to lose track of your exercise regime. Regime. Oh, <laughs> he didn't say it. It's easy to lose track of your exercise regime. That's true. And so Angel and I enjoyed the festival in our own special way. By kicking the crap out of a homeless man we thought was a monster. Ugh. Uh, not again. We gotta get... I overslept. I will return to my glorious abode. And I must return and celebrate my conquest of all the land from here to distant Macedonia. <laughs> Morning. <sighs> hmm. Hmm? Hello. 
Three. Damn it, Angel. Yeah. You, you must not say forbidden name. Really, you must not say forbidden name, which I think it should say. You must not say the forbidden name. It shall open Pandora's gate and bring about the end of all things. Yay? Really? The, this ID card. It's going to cause the end of the world. Okay. Angel, are you actually a kick? Ah! And a blue. Seek you to torture the servant of God. You must not speak the name of angels. You must not sing songs about the names of angels. You must not say it. <sighs> give me your water. No. I said give it to me. Fuck. Ah. That's good water. Per perhaps my wish was not granted. Oh. Um, let's set the contract. Set the contract off, everybody, you fool. Can I have forgotten that it You could not have forgotten that it blow. You, the angel of fire, who drove me from this world and imprisoned me in an eternal cage of ice. Wait, what? Are you saying you will join me? You are not alone. Yes, very well, we shall seal the contract on this ground. And a blow fleeting as is internal. Um. It shall be proof of our alliance. Keep it with you. Eh? Okay. I'll just carry it around for you. I have no idea what's going on. This guy's crazier than the guy who's the reincarnation of a pudding god. <laughs> I never thought you could get crazier than that. Seriously. Like, I'm a su I I'm surprised. Hmm. Hey, Yuya. Hey. Oh, boy. What are you two doing? Do not fear, Redu Blau. This man is not our fool. Um, what? I was going to cl Well, I was going to clear the infirmary, and... Our regal demon's blight goes stronger with each passing day. When? When will the time for action come? What's up? You. Be you a fiend of darkness spawned from the deep pits of Erebus. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a fiend. My proper title would be The Midnight Rose. I would be... My proper title would be The Midnight Rose. <laughs> or something like that. I'm thinking maybe Tuxedo Mask. That that's, that's a nice ring to it. <laughs> ah, I see. And now... An Apostle of the Violet Rose. Forgive my suspicion. Demons lurk behind every corner, friend. Yeah, it really does. Um, why? Warnings from those who follow the violet rose are heeded well by all but fools and a dead man. Yeah. Yikes. Would the Dark Magician be so cruel? I must seal him away immediately! Wait, no! Don't get in there suicide! He has a cleaver! That he can somehow use! And he kept trying to go in anyway, so I picked him up and hauled him away, okay? I wouldn't call it okay. Why are you bringing him to me? He said you were his friend! I don't know this crazy! I swear to God, I don't know! I thought it'd be wise to report these discoveries to you, Edo Blau. My name is Brenda. Or Bren. Or... Why are you calling me Edo Blau? Alright, thanks. Why don't I babysit this guy? Well, let's get some lunch. I don't mind, but are you sure? 
Being sued may put your very soul at risk in a blow. Whatever, break is almost over, let's eat! Ugh. Is there a manga club? I wonder if you're doing a scene or something. Hmm. What seekest thou, little blow? Angle, are you the member of the manga club? Indeed, this is my weapon! He produces a mapping pen with a dramatic flourish. How? He has wings. <laughs> is it the same vein of how does a bird cleave? I think it would hurt you if you got poked. It has stained many a day with the gore of friend and foe alike. Are you sure you're not just careless and you end up stabbing yourself? My scarlet breast stirs. No, I know. I shall leave this to you. You ain't a blam, I must go. In other words, it's your turn to run the stand. You want me to do this for you? <sighs> do what you must. Do what must be done, Crimson Angel of Judesia. I shall follow the covenant of my blood to the end. Ah! Nimbly sleeps over a stack of books and runs off into the courtyard. It's not like I have anything better to do, so I'll take a shift. <laughs> <sighs> what a crazy. Arg! I handed in my recorder instead of my map homework. How do you do that? Oh, these two. Hmm. I think I'm going to side with this guy. That's a very nice doctor. What do you want? Um, I gave you my recorder instead of my homework. Oh, thanks. Ah, uh, screw you. Angel! Shh! Hmm. Do you not sense the quickening, Erublau? It was a terrible sequel to Highlander. Seriously. Don't watch it! Quickening? The demon spores swarms. <clears throat> the demon spores swarm of an alarming intensity. They come from there. He's looking at. Still going on about the infirmary, huh? I have told you this is merely a fa ma facade, Edu Blau. The tree of blight with Fia, yes, is the incubator of absolute darkness. That makes any less sense. Why is it fine? Just like I'm an infirmary. The entire school will be swallowed by the demon spores if we do not act. For that to happen, my crimson breast would run wild once more. I might even... You... Uh... Um... Okay, getting uncomfortable. Scum, vagabond! Um, scum, vagabond, little that you know, the family tradition is to kill first and ask questions later. And I am getting hungry, and I'm pretty sure you... You taste good. Ah, but the root of all evil, the evil sorcerer is not yet at present. Must plan my attack. Rest easy until then, Edo Blau. Okay. No idea what's going on. <sighs> Yay! Suck it, douche. It's Christmas Eve. Wait, my cave has a doorbell? What? There's no one here. Yeah, there's a doorbell! And a cave! Why? To Edo Black, Apostle of the Heavens. Oh, hey, Ango. A crucifix. And a letter. Judgment to Rosnir. Let us meet at the promised place. The Crimson Angel of Justicia. Ugh. The sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across the land, lighting into it in incandescent glory. Yep. Let's go to the shrine. Hey, Ryota. 
<laughs> Alright, I want... Fulfillment and Conquest! <laughs> Sorry. Ah, well. I wonder what my fortune's gonna be. Hey, Joe! Hmm. Silky Blessing. Looks like ah, I'm gonna be lucky. Hmm? What's that? Ah, the emotion stirring in this crimson breast. Has the time of judgment come already, your lord? I understand you're upset, but you're only up the line. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. Who knew? What's wrong? Do you know the infinite possibilities in this universe, Edoblau? Infinite possibilities? The presence is a single point in the vast cosmic soup of time. Do I place myself under the protection of the wise Kingfisher or the guiding Puror? I must decide which one will most likely aid me in the. How about Dropdick's safety? <laughs> Imagine the look on his face the moment I say, like, every time he's just, it's really a what the fuck look. You're trying to get the time to fly out into the road to get hit by a car. Traffic safety is cool. <laughs> Can you give us this traffic safety charm? Here you go. So I paid for the ambulance and dragged Dangle out of the choked up line. You lifted the mighty burden of decision from my shoulders, Zedoblau. Yep, here you go. I thank you. Guide me well, the wonderless pearl. <laughs> what if I remember to look both ways? Probably not. Happy New Year. See ya. Oh yeah, Lake Guma times. So what should I get him? Hmm. Who would he want? Bitter black beans. Hmm. I wonder what they could be. I mean, I'm trying to figure out what would that be. Maybe coffee? I mean, coffee's bitter, and I guess they're technically beans. Hmm. Angle, are you in here? Yup. I have something for you. Quiet, little blow. We are in grave danger. Eh? Oh boy. Do not call me in that room, little blow, for a terrible evil lurks within. Well, not that terrible, but there's the risk I can be cursed if others were to learn of our connection. Ah, that makes sense. Sorry, Angle. Wasn't thinking. It's the Guman times. You want my beans? He's on. Black Bean Donna! Get out! This is my body and I won't let you use it as you please! These beans are evil, little blow of the blue sky! They look like little bitter beans! Indeed! Have no fear for I shall destroy him now! Um, how do I have like a pigeon? <laughs> That's a good question! But don't worry about it! Don't worry about me! Escape while you can! Eh, yeah, maybe he is a little young guy. I mean, it is coffee. He's probably just like, uh, uh, like, like in the evening. He's just like he's flying around like he's uh, over and over and over and over and over and over like in a circle, <laughs> like a hummingbird. Uh, it's been a long year. I've gotten involved with a Filipino, a banana man, and centric fallen angel. Yep. What a year. Hmm. The time has come. Meet me at Rufia, the Tree of Blight. It's from the eccentric Filipino banana man. Oh boy. Let's deal with this. Whoa. Okay. This has gotten weird. It's time to end this dark sorcerer, Wallenstein. I have. I have waited for you, Crimson Angel Judicia. Waited from the very beginning. 
The tree of light has fled, has fed on the flesh and blood of the innocent, has opened up the gate to the dark shield. What the? F I'm sorry, what? What? He actually. This is serious. Oh my god, I thought it was just a crazy. We stand at the very border between this world and the next. And so you have appeared lured by the taint that she are looking through. Just as planned. Ah, oh, so your plan has been to swallow the school into the abyss all along. Too bad I shall not allow the tree to reach maturity. <clears throat> Please do not misunderstand. I have no intention of bringing the end with this wooden toy. No, what I want is your accursed flesh, Angel of Hell. I am Wellenstein. You must agree there is a fitting name for a dark king. Come to me, spirit of <laughs> Angel! A black mama, mama, miasma, uh, yeah, miasma floods from his chest. What are you doing? You should know reincarnation under blow. The Apostle sealed the crimson, the crimson angel Judicia. This dove holds within him an avatar of destruction. Avatar of destruction? Have, have you forgotten it, Ublau? A day long ago in the time of gods and demons, when you took up the sword to end my rampage, I've drawn out the power, I've drawn out the power you sealed within his breast with the forbidden Montrenia. The tree of blood has consumed both students of the school and the mindless power of the Crimson Devil. Welcome to the end! Arise, Amnesia, bringer of death! Holy shit. Well, crap. Well, I ushered in a second apocalypse. Son of a bitch. Yep. <laughs> sorry, Angle. Uh, yeah, sorry, people. This one was on me. You can't give up. Hello, Blau. Have you forgotten, Ed Angel? I still have that ID card with the weird squiggles you drew. We have hope! I'll just kill this final boss thingy! We stand together! I never thought the day would come when we two would join in battle once more. I have not the courage to face down my evil half, but you. Take this, Ed Blau. The mapping pen. Say, Kriam, the Holy Spirit is yours to wield. Come! Oh my god, what the? Oh yeah? I have judgment! Oh yeah! What? Ugh. Okay, what, what can I use? Um, Eternal Blue Thunder! That did not do much. Oh boy. Okay, I need something good. Emperor's Ishchar! Oh no! I've fallen! Bitch. No. No. I'm not gonna let it end like that. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's do this. Eye of Judgment! Yeah. Alright. No Ninchin Ki Sum! Oh, there we go. Come on. La Human Flight. Yeah. Do 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 do. No, Himnensia was destroyed. You have miscalculated, Wildenstein. You do not account for Edo Blue's presence here. 
Ugh, I must withdraw. Do not forget, I shall summon a second in that Hymnantia, and a third, until the world's torn apart for their thirst for blood. Wait, Wellenstein! And so our adventure ended as suddenly as it began. We never saw the doctor at the school again. I've remembered everything. I remember your fall. I remember chasing after you when you tried to, to try and bring it back. And you remember skewering me with sacrum and imprisoning me in a cage of ice. Yeah, I don't resent you. I had lost myself and I was but a demon of blood destroying all in my path. But the demon's gone now. Yes. I think you can live normally now. Uh, no. I hope we can stay together like this, Yoshio. Ah! Oh. Whoops. <laughs> and that was the weirdest ending, as far as I can tell. It ended in an RPG battle. I never thought a visual novel would end like that. Well, to the end of emptiness. So people, I hope you enjoy this. I, I, I recommend checking it out if it's on sale. It is a weird, weird, weird game. You know what? I like it for it. I mean, if it wants to be very weird, more power to it. I'm probably gonna off, uh, you know, offline, you know, well, off camera, you know, do all the other stuff because I'm curious to see how everything ends. But I don't think my voice can take it anymore. Like that last one, my throat actually hurts. It's hard to do both shoes and Angel's voice. It is hard. Anyway, I'm Bren, and I will see you next time. Bye!